Uh, Ariel, uh, we talked about what you do for the for the traders, right? But there's something else that you do a lot of things, right? But you just showed me something. We have to talk about this. Can I see that magazine again? Uh, uh, just, just, okay. just, just, just get that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, this is gonna be good for you. All right. I just want one. Just wanted to. This is when I just put the whole thing down here. These magazines. Did, did you, now, what did you do for these magazines? Well, I used to be uh, one of the columnists in this magazine. Yeah, mm -hmm. For the magazine, and also an organizer for Frontline Africa. Frontline Africa. Yeah, Frontline Africa is a, it's an NGO mm -hmm. that seeks to assist uh, in helping fellow Africans to recognize the different shapes and shapes of uh, neocolonialism. Mm. Where is it? Where are they based out of? Based in Cape Town. Cape Town. Okay. Yeah. Are, or, do they have a presence on the rest of the continent? Or how does that work? Um, not really, but uh, well known mm. in South Africa, mm. especially amongst the the leadership and also the grassroots. Because the idea is to the idea is to even educate the leadership, uh, because here. Um, it's surprising also that some of our leaders do not fully recognize uh, the, all the shapes and uh, machination and the superstructure of neocolonialism. Mm -hmm. So Frontline Africa, uh, from time to time, engage with these leaders mm -hmm. and break it down for them and let them see how they can... I'm sorry, I gotta stop you. I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm just going crazy here, right? Let me just start what you just said and break it down for them. They're leaders. What do you mean break it down for them? This is a rhetorical question. My thing, if you're a leader, you're supposed to know where to look. You're supposed to know who to talk to. I, I, I can't, I can't for the life of me, as, as the saying goes, understand why leadership doesn't understand. That's all, that's all, that's all, that's all I know, right? So, what, how, how do you make, how do you make leaders understand? Because they think they're leaders and they can't be led. That's, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. How do you, you just say, help them to understand. Well, how do you help them to understand? Okay, well, uh, first and foremost, uh, you need to drift them towards knowing their history. Mm. Uh, knowing their culture hmm. and traditions uh, and part of that is helping them to understand that uh, that Africa uh, has been a great uh, 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 place in, 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 you know, in, 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 in the past. Uh, Africa reached a very glorious uh, state. And uh, the the so-called um, uh, Western civilization that we have now is an offshoot of African civilization. Well, isn't that the problem? When I say that, um, I mean, you know, uh, every once in a while I come across a PLO, uh, PLO uh, Lumumba. You know what I mean? An academic, uh, I call him an academic. He makes sense. But a lot of other people, they just don't make no sense. But the, I guess the, the real, the, you know, you can't have them all read Sheikh Anta Diop. They're not, they're not going to do that. You know what I mean? They're not, you understand? They're, they're all not going to listen to Pelo Lumumba. You know what I mean? They're going to, they have their own little thing that they, they're secure in. And sometimes they've been legacied, you know, like, uh, uh, who's a, uh, uh, um, from uh, Kenya, the Mau Mau's. Um, Lumumba, uh, who's Kenyan? The Mama. Anyway, his son is now in charge of the thing. But uh, uh, Jomo Kenyatta. Kenyatta. I mean, uh, it's almost like the, the 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 children betray the thing. They move, they he they, they lose, and and surely that person knows the history because your daddy used it. You know, 
You were sipping, your daddy was sitting, sipping Coca-Cola with other revolutionaries. I don't know how this, how, how you lose in one generation. So if you go back and say, oh, uh, 3,000 years ago, we invented this. People are going to go, so right now, your glorious past means absolute nothing if you can't apply it to the present to get the future. A lot of these folks don't even want to apply it to the present. They, they almost like, they, they, I guess the verb has been, have been seduced by predatory capitalism. I don't think capitalism is bad, but predatory capitalism has been seduced by, you know, it's like, like, like the trinkets. Hey, you know, we, 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 we ravaged them. We, we, when they saw our gold, they went and got that, and then come back and, and ah, I don't, help me with this, just help me understand. Well, I, I, it, it's, um, it's really not easy to get everybody on the same page uh, uh, concerning the condition of Af Af the African people, but here and in the diaspora. Mm -hmm. So, um, because the superstructure of imperial imperialism is it's very uh, active and it's present even in places that you do not really expect it to be. Oh, that as an um, example? An example would be um, agencies who are Western, with Western origin, have been or supposedly have been to shape policies in Africa, mm -hmm. uh, or even um, uh, suggesting what uh, leadership mm -hmm. or what good leadership ought to be <laughs> in Africa. Well. So you 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 will see instances where. Uh, leaders would be said to be, um, uh, or, or even some youth would be winning some leadership awards mm -hmm. from Western agencies, mm -hmm. and and when you look at those uh, set of leaders, these are uh, new um, liberal kind of people who believe that um, uh, everything we do here has to mirror uh, uh, what is happening in the West, mm -hmm. you know. So, so, um, so with that, uh, you find our leaders uh, becoming very timid in going against that tide of... Uh, timid is a good word, okay. Uh, that tide of uh, th that narrative. Mm -hmm. So they, they are almost like playing along to the narrative of uh, what the Western countries or agencies assume to be uh, leadership or, or, or democratic. Mm -hmm. Whereas um, we have our own way of life, and um, it's just for our leaders to just scratch beyond the surface to unearth um, the rich, uh, the rich, um, uh, the rich uh, uh, values that Africa could uh, uh, bring back and, 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 and use to, 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 you know. Well, let, okay, look, we, we, there's this guy I follow, nutritionist named uh, Yakai. You know, he's, uh, well, he's Yaki, but we, he, they call him Yaki, but it's uh, Y-A-H uh, accent K-I, right? He's a nutritionist healer, master, master nutritionist healer, right? And he has this term, he calls people, speaking mainly to uh, to black Americans, you know, or those academics that have been trained. It's like you think the people that they go to England, you know, like if we go to England and we come back, and then we apply those things that, that the, those worlds, the, the, the whatever they call them, first worlds, 29 worlds, whatever they call them, uh, apply it to the African situation now. 
and they feel like they're doing something. But he calls them Negro peons. <laughs> I, I, I just think it's an accurate <laughs> term. But, let me, but, but the reason why I said that is because, let me try to get a, a pen out here, because you know what I need? Let me, yeah, let, me have, yeah, and let me have a piece of paper. Let me show you something here. Because I, 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 I got off on this. I want to really discuss this right here. See, that says African passport. We're going, we're going to get to it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this is the most important thing to me, okay? Now, here's, here's the way I break it down. There's a guy named Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. that I follow. He deals with racism, white supremacy. And he says, it's a system, S-Y-S-T, it's a system, right, of, right, now let me just blank it here. Right? He says it's a system, right, a system of, well, he says white supremacy, race, which is racism. So I'm going to put racism, C-I-S, racism, right, don't worry about my handwriting. White, I'm going to put white in the lowercase level. H I T E, supremacy, S U P R E M A C Y. Okay? So, this is what he says. We, we have to deal with a system. They're dealing with a system of racist white supremacy. Oh, sounds great, right? But I have a, tw not a twist, but in the, about the academic, in the academic world, what you're supposed to do is take something and then you're supposed to fill in the blanks or you know, advance to the next thing. So, if you're talking about uh, pyramids in Egypt, and right now, we should be doing pyramids. Yeah, we should know how to do pyramids. I don't care about if they came from foreign, the, uh, the aliens or whatever it is. But we're not. <laughs> because even these guys, let me, let me put it this way. Uh, they, a, lot of, uh, a lot of my, uh, what we call hotel friends, like they'll say, or uh, colleagues, I should say. And they'll say, oh, yeah, um, uh, in, in, in the book, uh, they have these uh, the, 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 uh, the 22 confessions. You know, mm, yeah. you know you, you've heard that, right? Yeah. And I said, oh, that's nice. And what, what, oh, yeah, back, you know, with, with the pharaoh and stuff like that, you know, the, the, every every now and then, maybe every night, you know, you would ask, you know, have you wronged the king, right? Have you have you stolen cattle from the emperor? I shall not covet my neighbor's wife. No, 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 <laughs> no, they, that's not what they don't say. That, not covered my neighbor's that's, that's the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. A commandment and confession is different. Okay, so if I gave you those same things, let's still think of my wife stealing with. If you're, do you have any children? Yes. And how, how old? Uh, I have a 20 year old. I'm, I'm, I'm eight years old. I'm eight years let's, let's old. Let's see what eight year old. A boy or girl? Girl. Okay, so now if, if you come home and, and every night you know your eight year old is going to say, Daddy, uh, did you uh, take a sheep? Today, did you take any sheep? It's a question. You say, no, 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 child, I haven't. Daddy, have you lied today? No, child, I haven't. Right? <laughs> then you say, then she said, oh, have you uh, hit anyone today? And you say, you forget. You say, no, I haven't hit. Whoa, 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 whoa. But you did hit, right? You. That means you've lied. Thank right? you so much for that. So not only have you, you hit me? somebody, but you've <laughs> also lied, right? So that's two. It was just a question. <laughs> now, that means that tomorrow, when you go, I can't hit nobody because I know what's like like my Oh, yeah, my sure. No, no, yeah. So, so, so that's the point. So what you actually know, in other words, instead of a commandment not to do something, you know your child is going to ask you if you did something. And because your child and you love your child is going to ask you this question, you are not going to do it. But instead, we've embraced the, the you shall not. Have, you, you, you see, it's a difference between if a child asks you and you have to ask honestly, and then you adjust your behavior because you know that's coming versus you have, a, you see, it's a different way. So I would update the, 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 the 22 confessions for confessions and I would chuck the commandments all together because the commandments do not serve Africans. You understand what I'm getting with that? That's all I'm, that's all I'm trying to get at with that. But let me get back to this thing. You know, well, let me ask you. So, what do you see that? What do you think about that? What you understand? Well, uh, for me, um, you know, uh, in, in recent time, my religion has been uh, when I go to bed in the evening, uh, similar to this analogy of the eight-year-old girl. Um, in my mind, all my actions would come back to me, and I got an opportunity at that time to filter which ones are not so good. Mm. So if I picked up 
uh, an action that was really bad that the I would uh, now seek uh, to do better the following day. So, uh, and I think uh, over time, I may not totally um, get rid of uh, sins or wrongdoing, but I uh, will move towards being a better person, mm -hmm. you know, uh, than than what I was the previous uh, the, the previous day. So that's that's like my kind of religion right now. No, that's not. Yeah. Well, I, I, you, you understand. What the, you, you've answered the question. Now, let's go back to this. The system of racist white supremacy. Now, I say it's a system of... Now, it's like, you know, you know in England, when you get a, 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 a post from England, the stamp doesn't have any England on it because it was the first post office, you see? Uh, but, but if you get something from, from the Netherlands or the United States, then they'll have USA or whatever they have to or Canada like that because they fill in afterwards. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the first ones, i.e., you know, in, in Great Britain, whatever they call themselves these days, they they don't have to say that because they're original. So that's what this is, you know, they're original. But those originals, let's call them Anglo's. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a system that was, uh, say, perpetuated or, or, or invented by the Anglo's, and that system is the Anglo's. That system is racist white supremacy for their own. But what people don't understand, what, you, what, what we're saying is that this, this system, you can replace Anglo system of African racist white supremacy. So wait, wait, I can't be, no, 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 no. It's the system that the Africans are now parroting from the Anglo. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, like that. So, yeah. Yeah. Yes, we're recording. Okay. It's all right. It's fine. Intermission. Don't worry about it. We're not going to play. Something is cooking. Okay. As you know, we don't edit. We just go. This is reality. So you know, there's no blips. You say, "Oh, they snuck something in." Nah, that's not how we work here. Like that. All right, brother. I look forward to see you soon again. Surely, I'm, we will. I'm Tamito. 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 Okay. I'm Anthony. You can just say Timmy. Timmy. Okay. It's all boy. You know, I want to do the whole name, but later, another time. Okay. Maybe we'll talk to you okay. at the end of the year. Okay. Thank you for the story. No way. No, you haven't. Or it could be a system of, let's say, Chinese. Okay, sir. Could be a system of, of, uh, of uh, you name it. You know what I mean? Uh, Indian. System of, of, of hobo. <laughs> you know, so, tramp, whatever. They believe in a system. And they're working the system. But because they're working that system, they don't have a system of their own. They haven't replaced this system with another system. We know that this system, you we call it neo, whatever, neo, whatever, neoliberal, neo, whatever, uh, neoconservative, whatever it is. We know that's the system that subjugates us. That, but you have to replace that system. Yeah. But that's the problem. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you on this uh, because, um, I mean, when the British came to Nigeria, they practically told, uh, uh, I mean, they introduced the policy of indirect rule, mm. and they practically told us what to plant. You know, they, they, they wanted us to plant rubber, mm. they wanted us to plant timber, mm. and they wanted us to plant cocoa. Mm -hmm. And none of this uh, 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 were necessary for our immediate needs as as a, as a people fr from that part of the world mm -hmm. you know so the rubber was meant to develop the the, the, the tire industry in europe mm -hmm. the michelins the dunlops um the, the 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 timber was meant to build homes you know f because they, they needed uh, more timber to build homes because they needed more homes and the cocoa was meant to help the chocolate industry you know so um and 
it has never stopped. And that is what uh, Walter Rodney mm -hmm. calls structural dependency. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, that, have yeah. been made to structurally, because we, it's not so easy now to, uh, mm -hmm. we, we, we've, we've accustomed mm -hmm. our economies mm -hmm. to develop these products mm -hmm. meant to be shipped. Uh, into those central economies, mm -hmm. central western economies, exported back to us, uh, and we have to buy these products again with, you know, uh, you know. So our economies are have not been allowed to organically uh, develop the way it ought to be. But well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, that, listen. Uh, has not been allowed. No, you, you, you allow them to. When you say not been, you not you. I mean, you know, you know. No, I, I, I agree with you. So my problem is that we can do analysis all day long, but my question is, what system are you going to replace this? Because everybody loves this system. They all gain from it. No matter what your hue, no matter what your your your, your height, no matter what your your gender. They, you know, you got women right now. Oh, the, the, we need a a, a a women leader of this, but but they're still doing the same system. So this it's the system that's got to be uh, altered, right? I'm being kind by saying altered. But the point is, uh, well, Miss Neely Fuller Jr. says you just replace the system with a system of, of justice because it's an unjust system. You know, yeah. but they, they leave that alone. All I'm trying, all I'm trying to do is figure out what kind of work. But I don't need the analysis. We got, mm -hmm. we got. Uh, go, go to the Negro PNs. They will tell you all about it, right? Go to the you, the, the hotel brother. They'll tell you all about. Pan Africanists will tell you all about it. They will keep on reporting. They will report. They will report. But what do you do about it? Okay, which comes to the, the thing. I, I, I really yes. want to this here. This to me is the thing. Tell me about this. Well, who who spirits the magazine that that you put, that you had put out? It says African passport. The answer to African woes is a question mark. I'm going, African passport, answer to African woes, explanation point. Because it's very simple, I'm going to go my little thing, and then you can, because if, think about this. And I'm not talking about, if, 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 I don't even care about passport, forget, visa, give me a visa that I can go all over Africa with, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a person at diaspora, as, as my clan is, is, is the black American clan, the Negro clan from, from America, whatever they want to call us. You, know? you have the Caribbean clan, you have the whatever, whoever they are. And if every one of us had a, a visa that we go any place in Africa, then the business, we can do that. And you say, well, what about the white people? What about, we're not talking about them. We're talking about Africa. Mm -hmm. Africa, as Magnus Robert Subukwe would say, is about humanity. Those folks have demonstrated with the system they invented that they're not humane. So if you ain't humane, you ain't getting this. If you're a Negro PN coming here with this same system, you ain't getting this visa. You understand what I'm, I'm being radical about that? Yeah. But so to me, this is the most important thing. The, the the way how do you get because then you get business, you know? If 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 I wanna uh support a, a sheep herder, you know, or goat herder in, in, in the hills or whatever have you, I can just, you know, I'm a businessman, blah 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 blah. I'm not gonna take from you because I'm not doing the capitalist, the predatory capitalist system. I'm doing another system, a, a, a humane system, an African system, you know, a just system. That's that's my spiel and this what this Well, way. yeah. Um the idea here is to uh lobby when this magazine came out in two thousand and six to lobby uh policymakers. Uh, to think towards issuing uh, a passport for all Africans, one passport for mm -hmm. every African mm -hmm. citizen. Mm -hmm. uh, that will first and foremost enable free movement yes. across all African countries. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, we, as a South African you will need a visa to go to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a tragedy. It, it, it is not supposed to be. So this is a practical effort to get the leaders, African leaders, policymakers, to see the need for uh, 
uh, one passport for Afri for all African citizens for free movement to encourage intra-African trade. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're happy that uh, this is yielding some results. Oh. Because we now have the African passport, which has been ratified by almost all the African countries, except one or two. Through, through, uh, through, through the AU? Through, uh, through the African uh, Union. Union. Okay, okay. Through the African Union. I haven't heard about this. Hey, where's yes. my passport? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's soon going to be uh, uh, available. I, it is already available, and it's been, it's been issued already to... Uh, some African leaders and diplomats. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the first uh, phase. The businessman. I, I think it's it's first going to be with the diplomats and, and the leaders, just testing, you know, uh, test, you know, testing mm -hmm. how it's going to work. And at the later stage, it's mm -hmm. going to be issued to every citizen in, in on the continent, every African. Okay, I have a criticism, but go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. So, uh, if we can achieve that, then uh, it will be easy from someone in in in, in Ghana mm -hmm. to travel all the way from Ghana to South Africa without mm -hmm. requiring a visa, and a South African going all the way to Ghana, Senegal, Morocco, uh, Morocco without Ethiopia. you know without needing a visa. So that helps to keep, um, you know, it's, it's, it's got a social component, it's got a trade component, and it's, 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 a, it's a first step in, 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 it's one of the first steps that we need to take before we can even talk about African, uh, one continent, one country, uh, yeah. Well, let me hit that, Chris, let me uh, try to enhance yeah. The the idea. I always have a problem when you say, "Well, we're gonna we're gonna have a we're gonna have this test. Let's call it a test." And you're just gonna use this group or that group. Okay, fine. I'm not you know, diplomats or whatever you do because you, know, you know they're gonna do still remember they're still trained how they train <laughs> right. How come we can't have a, sh a a shadow test or a, a tier test? Okay, diplomats fine. A few businessmen, say the businessmen, I'm just make it up, say in tech, okay, great. But then we can have truck drivers who drive, I don't know, mm. say tim timber. Just a timber truck driver, we're going to mm. test them. And we need artists, artists, mm. music, uh, musicians, let's do that. Mm. Or musicians who play, I don't know, horn players, just, the, just that sector. Because then you have different stratas and you'll find that then when you start to evaluate it, you see it on a different, different set. Or you can just say, here's a great one, okay. That here's my other shadow one. You know, Rastafarians, they exist every place. They, they, it, I always say that, you know, uh, the Chinese are in every place on the planet. Well, Rastafarians are every place on the planet. Hey, Rastafarians, you, hey, here's your passport. Now, the reason why I do because because they live low to the ground and some, some, some live high, whatever it is. But the point is you have the different stratas. Therefore, when you evaluate it, you can't just, because when they start evaluating it, they're going to say, Oh, but the wife of so and so did this, abused it, blood, and we got all. No, no, no. I want to know what the what the timber truck truck driver is, the, the, the whatever. You see, what I'm trying to say: these ideas, when they come from only one sector of society, one strata of society, can be corrupted, can be Absolutely. altered. Absolutely. So, uh, you know. Absolutely. But uh, you know, we we come in from a very. Um, um, complicated uh, phase of boundaries, not able to move. Mm -hmm. You, you know, you yeah. travel five hours. You're in another country. Mm -hmm. uh, you need yeah. a visa, and mm -hmm. you need a transit visa mm -hmm. in some places. So uh, this is going to this this is going to. Um, uh, become something really huge when it's it's finally rolled yeah, out. Yeah. Yeah. No, currently the system is bad. But anyway, yeah. as a, as an American citizen, my passport, I have to pay a lot of money to visit Mozambique, and I like Mozambique. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like that. It's a great country. It's yeah. A great country. So anyway, so um, so let me let us leave that. You've answered that that question. Let's let us leave there because I want to go back. We, we, let's cut make this part two because we talked about something else. Part one, part two. Maybe we should take a walk someplace and just. Can talk about 
something. Because okay. you okay, want to do that? Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thank you so Thank very you. much. I appreciate okay. that. Okay.